An outside inquiry of the Philip Schofield scandal has revealed that junior staff members at ITVs this morning continue to fear that speaking up may harm their future in the business. Out of 48 interviews, just one respondent claimed to have been aware of the presenter's relationship with a former colleague who was younger and male before it was made public in May. The study also stated that despite ITV's great attempts to unearth the truth in 2019, they were unable to uncover the necessary material until Schofield's admission. Schofield reluctantly declined to participate in the investigation into the circumstances surrounding his departure, according to Jane Mulcahy KC, citing the risk to his health. She continued by saying that she had been told the host's mental state has now gotten worse. Executives at ITV have stated that until the celebrity left the network and issued an official apology, both Schofield and his ex-lover repeatedly rejected rumours of a romance. The unidentified runner also declined to be included in the article. The KC advised the board that for the period under review, there was no finding of a toxic culture, and had there been one, she would have said so, said ITV chairman Andy Coslett today. In May, Schofield announced his resignation from ITV and was fired by YMU, his talent agency, for his unwise but not illegal connection with a male colleague who was younger. I have no doubt that senior management is absolutely wedded to the importance of an open culture, Miss Mulcahy stated today in her assessment. However, junior staff members are still not seeing this mentality, as many of them continue to believe that speaking up will negatively affect their careers. She also mentioned that 48 people, seven of whom were interviewed twice, were spoken to during the 55 interviews conducted for the study. The KC stated, prior to May 2023, they became aware in 2021, only one person to whom I spoke had any knowledge of an affair between Schofield and the colleague and that former junior employee did not report their knowledge at the time. Moreover, suspicions from far earlier in 2017 were not reported by anyone. Following the publishing of a story in the Sun newspaper in early December 2019, Miss Mulcahy's report stated, ITV's management made considerable efforts to determine the truth about an alleged relationship between PS, Schofield and PX, the runner. Nevertheless, until PS's admission in late May 2023, ITV was unable to find the pertinent proof due to the participants' denials. After Schofield left, the daytime program was under investigation again due to claims of a toxic atmosphere. Additionally, the assessment discovered that although Schofield's support of the runner helped him in the beginning of his career at ITV, the man seems to have forged his way on his own after this. I am satisfied that PX elevation to a post of production secretary on another daytime program had nothing to do with PS. The report continues. Moreover, a standard agreement terminating the employment relationship dated July 31, 2021, was the only arrangement between ITV and PS under which he received any settlement amount. ITV did everything in its power to support PX after the story broke in 2019 and even in May 2023, even after his employment had ended, the statement reads. Since Schofield's departure, the daytime program has been under intense examination due to claims of a toxic environment. During her report to the board, Miss Mulcahy stated that no evidence of a toxic culture had been found during the period under review. According to the investigation, only one interviewee was aware of the affair before May 2023. The former subordinate failed to disclose it. ITV should establish clear guidelines for its talent going forward to ensure that good behaviours are observed even by those who are household names, according to the report's recommendations. In reaction to the report, Ms. Coslett stated, We appreciate her recommendations and are already implementing them. 
we firmly believe that everyone deserves respect and can contribute their utmost effort in this environment. We guarantee to our collaborators that in the event of a grievance or grave worry being voiced, we will thoroughly look into the matter and, should we discover improper behaviour, take appropriate measures. We'll keep up our efforts to empower our less experienced colleagues to speak out when they have a concern. I hope this review is finished so that this morning team can return to what they do best, which is creating an amazing show that informs and entertains millions of viewers every week. Following Showfield's exit, former This Morning presenter Eamon Holmes and the show's former resident doctor, Dr. Ranj Singh, have made accusations regarding the culture behind the scenes at the program. After 14 years on the couch, Holly Willoughby, Schofield's co-host, departed the program in October. The show has been hosted by a variety of presenters since the departure of the long-time team, including Alison Hammond, Dermot O'Leary, Josie Gibson and Craig Doyle. Rylan Clark and Emma Willis are the most recent pair to take the lead.